Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jay from Sony Alpha Lab. And in this uh, little tutorial here, I just wanted to show you how the Photodiox Pro adapter works on the Nex 7, the Sony Nex 7. And what I got set up here uh, in the lab, I have a couple of wood screws set up and then I have a four foot level. So you can see the number, you know, the numeric value on there. I have the centimeter side up, so there's a little bit more detail. So you can see inches on top and then centimeters on the bottom. Um, so I got my uh, camera set up in aperture priority mode. I just want to show you what it looks like when I walk through the depth of field here. So I'm just going to turn the focus ring and I'm going to walk through. And now you can start to see the numbers come in. And right about there we have the last screw and about the 16 and 17 sharp it looks like. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, this is with the Photo Diox Pro adapter wide open and it has a built-in iris and the question is does this thing actually create more depth of field and it actually does. Uh, it does create a vignette also but watch this. That's wide open right there alright. Now that's about two that's about three, four, five, six, seven. You can start to see the vignette coming in, but you can also see the depth of field is starting to grow. So, all right, so that's pretty much maxed out as far as where you want to use it, I would imagine, because the vignette is really starting to come heavy. But now watch what happens when I go even further. See the depth of field is getting much and much bigger, and then when I go all the way down, you know, obviously this looks like crap, but the depth of field is, is big. It's from all the way from the 15 all the way to almost the 17. And then I'll go back wide open. And now the depth of field is maybe an inch, not even. So, I mean, as you can see, it does do something. I mean, it's definitely not the same as a regular aperture, mind you. Uh, not even close as a regular, as the same as a regular aperture. But that being said, it does work pretty good. And uh, it, does, it does do something. You know, it, it will give you a little bit more depth of field, which is kind of good, especially when shooting with an f2 lens like I'm doing right now. f2 is just too wide for a lot of stuff sometimes. So, you know, it, it isn't worthless. It, it, it does do something. So, And you don't have to use it. You could turn it off. You could just open it up wide open and you're not using it at all. But it is a nice little feature to have, especially if you want to slow the shutter down. Um, that's the best reason to have it because you can turn it up to right around here. So I'm on about five. So that adds a little bit of a vignette, but what it does is it slows the shutter down a little bit so you might be able to get you know better shots if you're trying to be creative with the shutter so you can use it to slow the shutter down just a little bit like I said shooting wide open with an f2 lens uh, in the daylight for example can be pretty difficult as far as shutter speeds are concerned you get really high shutter speeds and stuff so in any event I will catch up with you guys on sonyalphalab.com